What's up everyone? People have been asking for a what's in the bag. It's been taking me a while, but here we go. Let's start off with the driver. I'll go head covers and everything. I got a Due Process. It's a private club here in New Jersey. Pretty exclusive. They're uh, not your traditional golf club, so check it out online, but they're definitely a goal of mine to be in there. The driver is a Sim 2 Max, tailor-made, uh, nine degree. I have a Mitsubishi Diamana shaft in it, stiff flex. So I used to play the Mitsubishi Tensai blue strip, uh, but it was a little too low of a kick point, a little too soft of a tip. So my swing speed's gone a little bit quicker over the years. So I've gotten a, uh, a stiffer tip that's gonna help uh, you know keep the spin down and stop so much ballooning on the ball. So I've had this for about two years now. I'll probably keep it through this season, maybe upgrade next season, not sure yet. Moving on to the three wood, got a Matita Conk head cover. That's a private club here in uh, central Jersey. Very nice club, probably one of the nicest practice facilities I've ever been on. Uh, three nines and very cool setup, very tough course. This is a Sim 2 three wood, no max, just regular Sim 2. This one I do have the Mitsubishi Tensai blue strip. This one is not the max, it does have a little bit of a blow, lower ball flight, so this shaft kind of helps me get a little bit of a happy medium between like a higher launch but still penetrating ball flight. Next clubs down, so these I kind of interchange. It kind of depends on the course I'm playing. If I'm gonna be playing a course that's maybe a little shorter off the tee and kind of have to place the ball, I'll keep a hybrid. So bar stool part of my take head cover, shout out Larry the Goldfish. This is also a Sim Rescue. Again, not the Sim uh, Max, but the regular Sim. Uh, this one, I have the same shaft as my driver, the Mitsubishi Diamana. The grips too. I have this Lampkin Sonar grip on all of my clubs. I like it a lot. So it's, it's got a tacky feel, but uh, still kind of forgiving. And I kind of like the color with the blue tip, to be honest. If I want more of an iron feel, I have this TaylorMade UDI 3 iron. This one, not gonna lie, I just kind of bought off the rack, but it happened to have the Mitsubishi Diamana shaft too. So that kind of worked out. But I like using this, you know, not so much off the tee, but more in the fairways, par fives, layups, uh, longer par threes. I kind of switched these in and out of my bag just based on the course I'm playing. All right, next we have the irons. I play the TaylorMade P770. So very similar to the 790, just a little bit smaller club head, which is what I like. I played blades for a long time, went to cavity back, didn't really like it, wanted something that was a little bit in the middle, and I settled on the P770s. Uh, as far as shaft, I have the Nippon Modus shaft. I wasn't really aware of it, but when I was being fitted, I uh, just had a little bit better numbers, felt good, so I went with it, and I've been happy with it so far. Next are the wedges. I have the TaylorMade MG2s up and down, so mill grind two. I carry a 50, a 54, and a 60. The reason I carry a 50 is because the pitching wedge on my P770s is 46 degrees. So I normally will like that from about 120 and up. I needed something for that 120 to about 95. Uh, so that's why I went with the 50. So it's been a good uh, club to fill in that gap. Uh, and it's also versatile around the green. 54 is about 95 is kind of the most I try and swing this. I could probably get it 100, but I just don't like swinging wedges that full. 54 has been about my 95 to about 80 club. And then lastly, the 60 degree. I've always been a fan of playing the ball high and it's a versatile club to have. Bunkers, uh, you know, short sided shots. So I like it a lot. I usually hit this about 80 to, you know, 60 yards. 60 yards and in is kind of, you know, what am I looking at? So I could go all three wedges depending on the type of shot it is. Next, we got the money maker. So just want to show you the head covers real quick. So this is a pizza box one I thought was kind of cool. Jaws, spider head cover. A 3D kind of looking thing for the spider. Needless to say, I have the TaylorMade Spider X. Uh, navy blue finish. Uh, blue's always been, you know, color of mine. I got the uh, mid slant neck, I believe it is. I kind of bought this one off the rack, so it's 35 inches. I usually choke up on it a little bit, so realistically, I should probably be playing like a 33 or a 34, but this thing's working well so far, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Next is the golf ball. I always play the TP5X. I used to play the Pro-V a lot. I just decided to switch to the TP5X one time. I figured I got everything else tailor-made. Why not try it out? And I've been happy with it. So I play the uh, custom number. I got 88, which is my birth year. I uh, put a line through the tailor-made. Uh, I got my putting alignment stripe. And then I also just get the shamrock that is free with the customization, so why not? And lastly, this might be too much, but I figure why not throw it in? I always play the Titleist uh, Player Soft Glove, I think it is. It's the one with the white label. It's durable though, so like for me, I, I generally tend to wear out the palm pretty often on gloves, so this one gives me a couple more extra rounds. One more thing I figured I'd throw in, a lot of people ask how I film on the course. So I use the iRange stick. It's got a nice magnetic mount. Uh, it's also got a spike, which is convenient. You stick it in the fairway. It's very sturdy, adjustable too, so you can change the lengths on it. 
I have a magnetic uh, case on my phone, so I just put it right on that and you're good to go. As far as the microphone, I always wear it right here on my cap. It's pretty sleek. GDV wireless mic. I got it on Amazon. I think it was like 60 bucks. Definitely recommend it. You just plug the little receiver into the iPhone, turn the mic on, light goes green, you're all set. All right, so that's my what's in the bag video. I know everybody's been asking for it, so finally got around to doing it. If anybody has any questions, leave them in the comments. Even if you have questions about getting clubs of your own, I'm no by no means an expert, but I've been around this game long enough where I could probably give you a tip or two. So thanks for following along, and I'll see you next time.